So let us talk about the row in pike. Uh, this is a cool exercise because it's going to allow you to perform a movement like the lat pull down uh, at home. Uh, it's going to involve more stability of the shoulder and more core engagement and anti-rotation. So that's kind of a cool benefit as well. Um, the downside is, of course, you can't load it as heavily as a lat pull down. But once again, a uh, great exercise to do at home. It's going to work your core more than a lat will. It's going to improve your mobility more than a lat pull down will. Um, yeah, it's just overall, in my opinion, uh, the good trade off. Like if you have access to a gym, do that pull down and then you can do this as well. Or if you don't have access to the gym and you want to, if you're trying to train the lat, this exercise will work uh, great for you. So we're going to start in a pike position. The wider your feet are apart, the easier it is to balance. The closer your feet are together, the harder it will be to balance. So I'm going to start wider than my shoulder width, just because I know I'll need the stability for this exercise. So next, I'm in a pike position. Here, I'm going to take this, and I'm trying to be as vertical as I can here. I'm going to take this weight and row it like so. Here. Now, if I want to make this exercise more difficult, I can elevate my feet, causing myself to be more vertical, making this more closely resemble that pull down. So, move this forward. Use this plate. One plate and two plate. So, this is also going to cause my feet to be closer together, making this exercise once again more difficult. So, I'm here. Boom. Way more vertical. And this weight. Oh, buddy. Ah. Yeah, guys, this is a row in pike. Really going to challenge uh, the lats and kind of mimic a pull down motion. If you're once again not strong enough, if you don't have access to a, a machine like a pull down, or you don't have the ability to do an exercise like a pull, you don't have access to that either. Uh, great variation to work on uh, shoulder flexion and pulling and row mechanics. But yeah, guys, this exercise, great, very, f I don't call it very fun, very challenging uh, exercise you can throw into your workout routine. Um, I would say this would definitely be an, an accessory exercise for anyone trying to work on core stability, trying to work on shoulder stability, and once again, just trying to build overall um, functionality with regards to uh, functional movement patterns and, and whatnot. Definitely not a movement I would recommend for a hypertrophy or major gains. Uh, I wouldn't recommend this exercise for that. You'd be best suited to do something that you wouldn't have to stabilize as hard with for focusing solely on something like hypertrophy and or like massive strength gains. But yeah, guys, this is the row in pipe position. I really hope uh, you guys like this exercise. If you have questions, uh, please leave them in the comments. Uh, if you enjoyed this video, hit that thumbs up button. And if you haven't yet, of course, subscribe to my YouTube channel.